Hi everyone! Thanks for visiting my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Carol, the Thrifty Chic Housewife. If you enjoy the content you find here, please consider subscribing, like and share my videos, and follow me on social media. I will leave all the links in the description box for you below. So today we're going to continue talking about herbs. Um, a few videos ago I did share my herb slash tea slash uh, pollinator garden and got a lot of interest from you all in that and many of you shared that you were interested in knowing how I use my herbs so one of the requests that I got from you guys was for salad dressing with fresh herbs so today we're gonna be making two kinds of salad dressing we're gonna do a vinaigrette an Italian vinaigrette and we're also going to do a creamy herb dressing so I'm excited about both of them they're both very simple um, um, they use very common herbs, um, at least common to me. Um, I, they, I always grow these herbs. For the Italian, we're going to be using flat leaf parsley, um, some oregano, some thyme, and fresh sweet basil. So delicious. So great. Uh, it's a great summertime flavor. And then for the creamy herb dressing, we're going to be using some dill, chives and some again some flat leaf parsley so pretty common herbs nothing really odd but i'd want to stress that you can change this up a million ways whatever herbs you like to eat and grow that is what you should use and don't be afraid to mix and match things um i know it it seems it it's a fun thing to grow herbs and many of you have expressed this but once you grow them you're not sure what to do with them so my advice is and this is kind of how i learned is just grow what you think you're going to enjoy and then just taste them and decide um, which ones that you like best which ones you like together it's all a preference thing so um, I can share with you what I like and how I put them together but you should not limit yourself so uh, don't be afraid to try new things getting herb seedlings from your uh, garden center is uh, they're not expensive and they're most of them are pretty easy to grow so I highly encourage you to just get growing taste them decide what you enjoy growing what you don't enjoy growing and what you enjoy eating and and use those um, and for those of of you who are new to using herbs a great way to start using them is to just put them in salads um, chop them up and just put them in a regular garden salad they add so much fresh flavor to your salads and they really help to change things up so um, try not to limit yourself um, and think that thyme is just something that should be in an Italian dish or that sweet basil is something that should be in an Italian dish or um, tarragon should just be used in French dishes. Mix and match them. There are so many wonderful things that you can do with herbs and it all has to do with your personal preference. So now I also want to say that the dressings that I'm going to be using today even though or making today even though I'm using fresh herbs you could also substitute dried herbs. You just if you substitute with dried you're just going to, going to want to use less than I'm using for fresh. So let's get started. Okay guys, like I said, we're going to start with our Italian vinaigrette and I have some fresh sweet basil, I have thyme, I have oregano, and I also have some flat leaf parsley. You're going to want about two tablespoons of each and we are just going to finely chop them. So for your fresh basil, just pull off the leaves. Um, I did um, rinse them really well and I dried them. Make sure they don't have any creepy crawlies on them. Okay, so for basil, I just kind of put the leaves together in a little pile. And then I roll them up, roll up the leaves, kind of like a little cigar. And then we're just going to finely shred them. Just cutting them in some fine little shreds. And then I turn them the opposite direction and go through it again. And then set our basil aside. And then we'll grab some of our thyme. Thyme and uh, the oregano 
if you just take the stem and then pull hold one end and then pull back on the stem the leaves come off pretty easily for you you don't want that hard woody stem Okay, once you remove your leaves from the thyme stems, you're just gonna give them a little chop, make them a little more fine. And just set those aside with your basil, and then we'll move on to the oregano. Um, just pull the leaves off. They will come off if you pull it backward, like with the thyme. They come off pretty easily. And then you can just give them a chop. And then for the parsley, we're just gonna pull the leaves off of the stem. And then just give them a rough chop. And like I said, you're gonna want one to two tablespoons of each one of your um, herbs. You're gonna want about a quarter of a cup total chopped. So once you have them chopped, we're gonna go ahead and put them, you can put them in a jar, you can put it in a bowl for mixing, and if you put them in a bowl, you can just use a whisk. I'm gonna use this um, salad dressing container by OXO. I love these. I'll leave a link to them uh, for you guys in the description box below. They're fantastic for homemade salad dressings. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop our chopped herbs in there. And then for a little more just fresh, sunny flavor, we're gonna add about a tablespoon or so of lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice. Make sure you don't get the seeds in there. So about the juice of a half of a lemon is about what you want. Then we are going to add, I'm gonna be using white wine vinegar. White balsamic vinegar would also be fantastic here. You could use regular balsamic vinegar. You could use white vinegar, whatever you have on hand. Red wine vinegar would be great, but I'm, for today I'm gonna to use white wine. I really enjoy that. And we're gonna use about a quarter of a cup and the nice thing about the oxo salad dressing um, shakers is that they do have measurements on the side to help you measure so we want about a quarter of a cup and then we're going to add some salt and pepper about a teaspoon of each and then we're gonna go ahead and add our oil. Now, I am going to use a combination of good quality olive oil and canola. You can use all olive, but when you use all olive oil, just know that when you put it in the refrigerator, it will try to solidify. And you have to let it warm up a little, get a little bit again to room temperature before you can um, before your salad dressing is thin enough to pour. So I like to use a combination of the um, olive and canola. And we're gonna want a half a cup of olive. And I want a quarter of a cup of the canola. Or you can use any vegetable oil you like. And then just put the lid on, seal it up, and give it a great shake. And there you go. You're gonna wanna let it sit for at least 30 minutes to let all the flavors infuse together. And you can store it in the refrigerator for about a week or so. So let's move on to the creamy dressing. Okay guys, so now we're ready for our creamy and we're gonna be doing making it, actually I'm gonna make it a garlic herb dressing. So, 
I'm gonna use my food processor for this. Um, it makes it easier to mix the mayo. We're gonna be using mayo and sour cream, our fresh herbs, some fresh garlic, and you can use either milk or buttermilk to thin it out. If you don't wanna thin it out and you just want a creamy dip, you can just use the sour cream and the mayo. Now you could also sub out um, some plain yogurt for the mayo if you don't want to use the mayo. You could also use low fat. So lots of options here. Again, we're gonna be using some of our delicious flat leaf parsley. We're gonna be using some fragrant and really yummy dill. We're just gonna be using the fronds, not the heads. I did have a question about that. Usually you use the heads of dill for making pickles, um, but you can use the fronds for, in, for cooking and for making salad dressing. Mm, smells so delicious. And then I'm gonna be using both kinds of my chives. If you um, watched my video on making the herb butter, I talked about this. These are garlic chives. They are flatter than common chives and they have a, an onion garlic flavor to them, a mild garlic flavor. Um, but I'm gonna be using some of those and then I'm gonna be using common chives as well. You guys have seen these, everyone's familiar with common chives grow really great chives. If you do nothing else, do chives and parsley. They're very versatile and really great in lots of dishes. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna be using a half a cup of mayo and um, sour cream. And we're gonna be using about a quarter of a cup of fresh herbs. The amount of herbs, you guys, is entirely up to you. It depends on how much flavor you want, but I'm gonna be going for about two tablespoons of each to get about a quarter of a cup or so. And then I'm also going to be using some uh, fresh garlic. I'm gonna be using two cloves. If you don't groove on the garlic, you can leave it out altogether. You could add more, you could add less. It's entirely up to you. So we're just gonna get rid of the paper. Pop it in there and we're going to use our leaves from our parsley. Parsley is such a nice, beautiful, fresh flavor. So good. And using a few of the garlic chives. And then some of the common chives. Just give them a rough chop and then some of our delicious dill. You don't want any, you don't want that hard, thick stem. You wanna to try to just pull off the fronds or the delicate stem that the fronds come directly off of. And we're gonna add about a half of a cup of sour cream. And then we're gonna be using an equal amount of mayo. About a half a cup or so. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, then we're gonna add some salt and some pepper. And we're going to get it processed. And I like to use a spatula just to scrape down the bowl and make sure that all the herbs, there aren't any long stems of the um, chives and that the, there's no big chunks of garlic. So just kind of go around like that and then give it another whirl. Also add a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice if you like. I think I'm going to skip that this time, but you can. And then there's the consistency. See, it's more like a dip or a very thick dressing. So. I'm gonna thin it out with just about a tablespoon of milk, but you could also use buttermilk. Just a tablespoon or two is all you need. Scrape down your sides. And check your consistency.
And also, you want to give it a taste. Mm. So delicious. Need a little more salt. We are good to go. Okay, guys, we are all done. How fun was that? It's a great way to use up your delicious fresh herbs that I know you are growing um, out back in your backyard or in your garden. Um, again, here is the shake. There's your vinaigrette. So pretty. All those delicious herbs. Um, and then there's the creamy. I put it in one of those pretty flute ball jars. I'll leave a link to those for you in the description box. Also, I don't know if you guys are familiar, um, Ball has these reusable plastic lids, which are really great for things that you just store in the refrigerator instead of using your canning lids. Um, these are fantastic. They're not very expensive, and I will leave a link for those also. But this is fantastic. So good. Very similar to a ranch dressing or a ranch uh, dip. Like I said, you can go either way with it. Um, the one thing I did want to mention, if you want to make it kind of with a, a Mexican flair, you could use some of your delicious jalapenos from your garden and some fresh cilantro instead of using the flat leaf parsley. So delicious. Um, even add sprinkle in a little hot sauce million different ways to jazz it up so good also if you grow mexican oregano mexican oregano you, if you've watched any of my mexican videos my mexican food videos you guys know that i love that and if you grow mexican oregano it's delicious in the creamy dressing um for to drizzle on top of tacos or whatever so anyway I hope that this was helpful to you guys. I do have one more video I'm gonna do for you on making an hors d'oeuvre uh, with fresh basil, and uh, that will be coming up. But this is a great way to use your fresh herbs. Again, I just want to um, reiterate, because the question did come up, how much to use. That is entirely up to taste. Um, start with a quarter of a cup total. If you're using just one herb, up to a quarter of a cup or a mixture of herbs, start with a quarter of a cup. And if you feel like you need more, you can always add more. But a quarter of a cup is a great place to start for um, about a cup of either your olive oil and vinegar for your vinaigrette or the half a cup and of a mayo and half a cup of sour cream. Um, that makes the one cup base for the creamy dressing. So about a quarter of a cup of fresh herbs, to the one cup of your base. So I hope that's helpful to you. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.